The second way of solving quadratic equation is by completing square, which we tend to have something square, or we make it by completing square. So, before we go start, we start on it, I would like you to remember a plus b all square will be equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. It's the same as a minus b all square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. And this is the format we would like to see so that we can generate the other side here. So 2ab is this half. So for the baby way, we have first the baby way is the concept. We have to have x plus 5 all square equals to 2. So remember, we're taking square root on the other side is square 2. But then you have to plus and minus. Remember, there are more than one answer for a square root. And then we throw the 5 to the other side. Still, two answer. All right. But when it's something happen, if the real stuff, we are going to use the completing square. I will usually throw the constant to the other side to help me. Say, for example, this is the equation here. I do not like to deal with those, so I will throw that to the other side to help me a bit. And then I will change this look. Also, remember, try to have nothing, no coefficient for the x squared that makes helpful. That is so helpful when it's happened. So we have x squared minus 2a. Now I need to think of something multiply to get a 4. So 2 times x times something equals to 4x. So it's a 2 there. Then negative 1. Since I got a squared minus 2ab, now I can work on those. So x squared minus 2ab and then I have to add a b square. Now the b square comes from the middle of nowhere, so we need to balance the whole equation by adding it to the both side. Now the whole thing, that whole big bit, will become x minus 2 all square. And the other side, we can just do the math. So x minus 2 equals all square equals to 3. I'm going to do it on the other side here. So x minus 2 equals to plus or minus root 3. And x will be equals to 2 plus or minus root 3. There's two answers here. It means that 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. All right. So we'll try another one. Again, first thing first, we have x squared plus 6x equals to 2, negative. Throw it to the other side, and then we have, have the bet. Square plus 2ab plus b squared. You've got to plus b squared on the other side as well. So we have 2 plus 3 all square equals to negative 2 plus 9. Ah, it's x here. So x plus 3 all square equals to 7. x plus 3 equals to plus or minus root 7. x equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 7. It's not too bad, isn't it? But it comes in the tricky bit is if the coefficient, there's a coefficient in front. So we're going to go do that as well. Now this is the case with the 2 in the front, and that is how we are going to do that. So we have 2x squared minus 10 equals to minus 10x equals to negative 3. Now I want to remove the 2, so I take a factor out of it. So x minus 5x equals to negative 3 over 2. Now I'm happy. x squared minus 2 a b plus b square the other side i have to do the same thing as well right so we have x minus 5 over 2 equals to negative 3 over 2 plus 25 over 4. i hope we will still remember the basic 
fraction. So we have negative 6 over 4 plus 25 over 4. So x minus 5 over 2 equals to plus or minus root 19 over 4. This number look weird. Oh, it's all right. So and then we have x equals to 5 over 2 plus or minus root 19 over 2. All right. To make it looks even better, Oh, that's handsome. That's how the completing square to be done.